MCAT 2015 Cram Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 41 How Long Displacement Deceleration and Kinematics All right, let's get into the question. A Boeing 747 aircraft has a landing speed of 72 meters per second and upon landing it is able to come to a stop in 2000 meters. Assuming constant deceleration, how long would it take the Boeing 747 to come to this full stop? Would it be A, 56 seconds, B, 28 seconds, C, 14 seconds, or D, 72 seconds? I'll give you a moment to set up your equations and to think. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, hopefully by now you've come up with a solution, but in case you haven't, that's totally fine. Let's uh, take a look at the solution now, all right? Okay, so um, what we can do is relate time and displacement with constant uh, deceleration in the same way that we uh, relate acceleration, okay? And in order to do this, we can use the kinematics formula. Displacement, which is represented by d, equals delta t, the change in time, times v sub a, where the sub a stands for average, as in average velocity, okay? And just note that v sub a, or average velocity, is equivalent to one-half times the initial, I mean, one-half times the final velocity plus the initial velocity, okay? So we know displacement must equal 2,000 meters. Therefore, we can plug in all our values to solve for t, the unknown, okay? So um, we have that 2,000 meters is equivalent to delta t times 1 half, where here we're inputting our formula for average uh, velocity, plus 0 meters per second. This is going to be our final velocity because the um, Boeing 747 comes to a halt, plus 72 meters per second. This is our initial uh, velocity, okay? So when we analyze this, so we would have to add and multiply to get 36 and then divide 2,000 meters by 36 uh, meters per second in order to get 55 seconds, okay? All right, so our time is exactly 55.55 seconds, which is roughly equivalent to answer choice A, 56 seconds, which is the correct answer choice. All right? Okay.